big smallmouth. Wow. This is really, really something. I thought I had a, a big pickerel, which is what I wanted. Now, when would anybody ever say they wanted a pickerel over a smallmouth? That's pretty, that's pretty crazy talk. But that's a nice, nice smallie. We'll get him in here and see if we can uh, get something else. Tell you what I'm doing today, folks, and, and, and you know, this is a, a really different fishery for me. I've come to Henderson Harbor because this winter we discovered that there were some really, really big pickerel here. Isn't that a beautiful bass? Boy, I'll tell you what. You can't beat the fishing along Lake Ontario and, Hender and uh, the St. Lawrence River. In all the bays and the in the inwaters in the spring, these big fish will come in here, and this is an example of that. That's a really big bass, but that's not what we're after today. I'm after these huge chain pickerel, and they've got huge because of the gobies that they feed upon. And I'm I'm telling you, these are some of the biggest pickerel I've ever seen. Now, to give you an example, I'll show you one that I caught a little while ago before we rigged up our camera to show you. But this is the size of these pickerel. Look at how fat and thick that fish is. And that's what we're after today. Now I've had several, but for some reason I'm not hooking them well on the jig. And I'll tell you why I think they're hitting the jig. I don't think the pickerel are hitting well today. But this jig allows me to fish in the deeper water where they are and allows it to go down near the bottom. And I think these fish are hanging near the bottom. So that's what I'm using, a bucktail jig. You know, the fact that that smallmouth hit, you would think would mean there'd be other smallies right in this area. So I'm gonna stay here for a second. Boy, I'll tell you what, all of a sudden, we've got into a group of fish and it's kind of amazing because we go a lot. Now we're in shallower water, but I think they've just turned on. And I gotta tell you folks, this is so incredibly much fun and these are nice fish. Don't think for one minute that these fish don't Oh, and he's gone. He's gone. He flipped, jumped. You can see how acrobatic they are. Boy, I'll tell you what. Fishing is fishing, and I know you can, you can enjoy anything, but I think this is extra fun. I really do. And I think there is just hundreds of these fish. The thing that surprises me is there used to be a lot of northerns here in Henderson Harbor, and now all we're getting is pickerel. And if these fish sort of move the northerns out, I don't know, but it's pretty fascinating. And I want you to watch what I'm doing. This is the this is the way that, you know, it's not like there's a great huge art to pickerel fishing. But what I'm doing is I'm taking this jig, and it's fairly heavy, so that it will go down towards the bottom. And after I cast it, I'm just whipping it. I'm whipping it back and forth. Not like you'd suddenly fish a jig, but very violently, so it's hopping up and down. And this is the action that I've always done really well with uh, northerns muskies, and now pickerel. It's a very aggressive action. It seems to turn them on. Well, I'll tell you what, this has been slow. You'd think when you go for pickerel that you would be, oh, that's a nice one, that you would be catching one after the other because they have a reputation of being so aggressive. But I think the cold water, plus these are big, big pickerel. Now this one, I have had a couple today that were so big that followed it right into the boat and I didn't catch, but you can still see that these are nice fish. These are nothing like you'd think the average pickerel are. And my recommendation is, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not really an expert at this today because we haven't caught a lot of fish, but by using this big heavy bucktail jig, I can get the, the, the jig down there where I think these fish are, and they're, they're in at least 15 foot of water. Now they're going to move in much shallower as the water warms, and that's when I think the fishing is going to get great. But you can see, these are fat, fat, healthy fish, and I'm excited to discover this fishery. Now again, I've talked to the DEC, and the reason these fish are so big is the gobies. And they say other species are going to follow. We're going to get some gargantuan fish in the St. Lawrence and Lake Ontario that are feeding on gobies of every species, smallmouth, northern pike, walleyes, whatever's feeding on them, they're going to go grow awfully big. Well, this has been a lot of fun today. I don't know if we're going to catch any more, but at least I got a chance to show you this new fishery, how I do it. And I would suggest you, you folks out there that have a chance to fish the bays of Lake Ontario, 
give it a try because it's a lot of fun.